Hello, welcome back people. Uh, big update. Been away for a while, but I've even been like a massive change. The sky is blue now. <laughs> I kid, I kid. This is what I want to show you guys. God rays. So, yeah, it's been away for a while for conferences and had to spend quite a bit of time like my work and such. So, I've not been able to do much of my uh, my engine. But since I've got a little bit of time available, um, I decided to like, input like a feature I really want to have since I've seen like in quite a few games and it's kind of fun like ever since I've been building my own um, 3D engine you really start paying attention to what other game engines are doing, methods they use. Um, so for instance like playing the, uh, the Stanley Parable, if you haven't checked it out, check it out guys, it's like a really really fun creepy weird game. It's free so it's like a modification for Half-Life 2. Uh, but for example in that game, if you walk down a hallway, you see in the distance objects appearing. So that's like a nice way of, um, let's say, to uh, to optimize your uh, rendering by, you know, drawing objects in the very distance. Like, don't draw them, but then if you click on like basically like fade them in. So it doesn't like go too bluntly when you, uh does like pop in all of a sudden. Just slowly fade as you walk towards it. Which got like a nice technique I might actually actually use. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, God Race is the top of this uh, video. Uh, as you can see, it's not perfect in the sense that you actually have to look at the light for it to uh, to work. Uh, you'd expect like if you get behind like like here, you would still see some effect of them. But a little secret is this isn't like for volumetric shadowing or lightning or anything like that. It's a post-processing effect, which is a lot cheaper to do, to do a lot easier implement as well, I might add. Um, and as you can see, as long as you look at the light, you get some really nifty, nice effects. But if you look away from the light, or you look at the back of the light, it's all gone. Very, very sad. Uh, but for like purpose of my game, it's not that big of a deal breaker. Um, so for the horror game, you can easily edit other place where you can't really look behind the lights, like for example, like street lights or I don't know, like a massive window where like light comes uh, comes from. Um, so this can be used quite uh, quite effectively. So question you guys have most likely is how did I do it? Well, little secret is in this this texture here, which I uh, which I render every time when the uh, when the light is like in. View. So if light's not on view, I don't render it, which just optimizing optimizing effect really. Yeah. So as you can see here, uh, I draw the lights, both lights in this case. And uh, what I do then is I take every uh, voxel on the on the texture. I draw a vector from the light to the uh, to the actual voxel, and then I sample along that line like a number of times. I think a hundred in this case, and then assign the value to every voxel the average of all the of the sum of all the colors between it and the uh, and actual light pixel. And I do do add like some um, some some you can actually have some parameters where like you know like the further away from the light the less effective it becomes and all that kind of stuff. So it, it slowly fades the further away get away from the light you can see from the uh, from the from the sphere here. Um, so yeah, I mean that's it. Uh, I mean, really funny effect is like when you see this light here, because like both of them are being rendered, as you can see on the on the box. The second light also casts a shadow or like a lightning volumetric thing, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, it's quite funny. But that basically, you know, gives away the secret of how this uh, thing actually works. It's like a nice processing effect, a post-processing effect, I should uh, I should say. So yeah, uh, so not any progress in the game yet. I've been uh, talking with like a few friends of mine about uh, about story ideas and all that kind of stuff. So I think story-wise, I know what I want to do, um, but I just need to find a time to actually sit down and implement it, get like physics in and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's all work in progress. So I'll, um, yeah, so I'll figure out like, as things move along, but don't expect too much progress uh, anytime soon. Well, definitely keep you posted. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video, and I'll see you later.